dive, 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 dive. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. No, 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 no. Guten Tag, meine Freunde. Mein Lieblingshobby ist Auto schneller Fahrer Car. Hello guys, Jimmy here. Welcome back to another video. And don't say that we aren't a multi-language channel because as you can see, I am fluent in all languages. So in today's video, I am going back to my favorite tool that I've found recently over in race department, which is called the Asena Corsa Car Tuner. And if you are unfamiliar with what that does, it is basically, here's your car, here's your engine. It's good. Doesn't matter what it is, make it go together in some sort of brilliant Frankenstein creation and for me someone who likes to do the uh, sim racing equivalent of shit posting i wanted to answer questions that people don't really answer and today's question i think is an interesting one given that i'm a bit of a car weeb as demonstrated by uh, this flag right here so over the course of its history formula one has seen us i say pretty much every configuration but not really we've had the v12s in the awesome old school 90s Ferrari V12 car and of course older cars than that. I'm sure GP Laps is just fucking furiously typing in the comments right now every single V12 F1 car. We've had the bring back V10s from the 2000s era, V8s as well and of course V6s from old school 80s cars and now modern Formula 1 cars. But you know what we've not had? Rotary baby! <laughs> So like a lot of absolute car weaves, I'm a massive fan of the Rob Darm YouTube channel. That guy is doing crazy stuff with rotary engines, uh, usually failing, but that's sort of the fun of it. Uh, the guy keeps at it no matter what, and his dedication to those cars and those engines is just unreal. So in honor of him, I thought it'd be a great idea to get a rotary engine, pop it in an F1 car, and see if it's any good. Kind of thinking there's a reason why it's not happened yet, but who knows? Now, before we get into the meat of this video, a quick word from Sim Racing GP. Now, if you ever wanted to drive a real life TCR car, what do you mean no? What do you mean no? no. We are partnered up with TCR Virtual for their esports championship, where you can win a share of 10k and a drive in a real life TCR car. Best thing about it from my point of view is there's no annoying hot lap qualification which means screw you sim racing aliens. All you have to do to qualify is complete a 10 minute qualifying race with no incidents. Easy. That's your me. And I'll probably be having a go myself at some point. So sign up to ruin me. That sounds like an OnlyFans application. You're hearing that idle boys? It can only mean one thing. We have a rotary engine in the back of this F1 car. Now, this car here is the RSS 1990, basically a Ferrari from the year 1990. And we've got rid of that awesome V12 engine in the bin, to be fair, where it belongs. That engine was not good. Sounded good, but not good. And we've put something even more unreliable in. We've put ourselves the rotary engine from the Mazda 787B, also available in a set of Corsa. Now, the mad thing about this engine swap is that the V12 produces about 380 newton meters of torque, whereas the rotary produces about 500 newton meters of torque. So this doesn't feel right to say in this, but the rotary engine would actually be a bit faster. I think. We're going to test it out quickly before we get into a race scenario. We're at the old Suzuka circuit so we can sort of go down our head cannon that Ferrari tried a rotary engine at some point uh, in their F1 career. And we're going to see how this thing behaves and then race it. Can't wait. I love that we're just sitting here brapping away. It is the best. I could just sit here all day and listen to this, but we've got to go and test it. So uh, I've got my uh, stick shift on my gears for some reason. I don't know why, but we're going to use that. Let's roll out in our rotary powered Formula One car. Now, the main difference between this car and the V12 is that we rev a lot lower 
in this car than you do in the V12. You can see on the gauge, we've, we've got uh, numbers up to 13,000 RPM, even 14,000. We just about hit nine in this car. So actually less peaky of an engine. Oh my God, but it's still enough to have little mini moments if you're not paying attention. Oh, she flies. Oh, chat, we have been blessed by Hover Marshall. Good luck and green flags will come your way if you comment hover well, Marshall. Oh man, but it, it really gets up and goes though. Like it still has the speed of an F1 car. In fact, if anything, it feels a little bit quicker than its V12 counterpart. And we'll be testing that very shortly. And if you're wondering, by the way, we're on the older version of Hazuka. This is the 1988 layout, which means we have a completely different last chicane, which I've not actually driven through for a very long time. So I've got to try and remember how tight it is. Oh, man, that back end is sliding through there. Oh, God, I forgot that 130 hours oh, tighter back in the day. Oh, certified McNish moment. How tight this is, man. So tight through there. So cool. So cool. So now, obviously, We've got to try it against some uh, some competitors. And what we're going to do to make this an interesting test for me is we're going to stick it on track with this car, the one I'm driving right now, but with its original B12 engine and see how it compares. If it's faster or slower, harder to drive, we're going to find out. Look at that absolute virgin over there with his V12 piston engine. Don't talk to me unless you're repping the spicy triangles. Not interested. Virgin V12 versus Chad Rotary. Who will win? Let's find out. Three laps. Start at ninth. Send her off the line. Rear tires are for losers. Oh, the launch, despite just absolutely lighting up those big old fat slick tires at the back. T1, Suzuka, guy on the left, goes onto the gravel briefly. Let's not go near him. He's dangerous. And immediately, it's sort of deafened by the V12s. They are the buzzy boys and they are angry. Angry that me, the car weeb, has invaded their grid with the superior rotary engine. I've got a four rotor behind me again, producing nearly 700 horsepower. Hell of a lot for the displacement. Got a car on my inside coming into the deck now, gonna try and outbreak in there. Nice, no mirrors, become an absolute loser. Get out of the way, Virgin V12. It is me, the Sigma male, down towards the hairpin. Car feels pretty much exactly the same as it would feel with the other engine in. I think the rotary engine is actually a little bit lighter as well. Might be talking shit there, but I'm fairly sure it is. Into Spoon. Oh, I've fallen behind a little bit just because my driving's bad. Engine, though, isn't. We're definitely keeping up on the straights, so and maybe a little bit more, I think. Seventh gear. Coming up now to 130R. Again, a bit tighter to so downshifting in. Oh, man, that's a proper corner there, isn't it? I've got to try and catch this guy through the slow stuff. Oh, man, Jimmy, that's not it. That's A-line through there. There's an evil bump there as well. That's one lap down. We have gained a few positions. We're in P6 now. We were P9 before. And then just see the end of the straight there. We're starting to catch at the end of the straight. We've got the power advantage here, definitely. If anything, though, that torque is maybe hindering us a tiny bit out of the corners. So much torque that the rear tyres can't quite deal with it. Maybe that's just my very heavy right foot, who knows? Can't blame the driver ever, it's always the car. It's such a shame this never happened, man. I would love to have seen a rotary F1 car. Don't run into the back of the shiny boy. With the folks who will come and kill you. Send, send, big send. Oh, big sends, you love to see that. Hover Marshall approves of the big sends. He's right there on the outside, though. You know, I've got, I'm put, I've got the engine power. I've pulled away from him. Oh, my God. Spicy, this thing. This is actually... This feels like it could be a real thing. I was prepared for this to be really bad. But it's actually... It fits in really well on this grid. Really well. Oh, God. The draft of the guy behind me. Center Prost moment! Oh no, he's gone far too quick for me to do a Center Prost moment. Cranked on the lock on. So, I'm so out of there though, I'm, that's, that's my weakness. 
still in P6, but the, the race is good. One more lap. Oh, no, I'm going to get done on the, the draft. The guy on my inside. There goes the V12. Don't let him have it. No, 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 no. Forbidden. 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 Verboten. Das is not good. Ah, oh, jeez. Screw it. P6 is, if you're familiar with old school F1, the last of the points, so we're going to fight for it. Like it's a firstborn. Get off the curb, Jimmy, you bad boy. Dive, 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 dive. Ooh. <laughs> dive two, electric boogaloo. Oh, it's a big dive, it's contact, we're on the grass. No! There's another one. These bastards are everywhere, right, come on. If I can get in the toe, there's still a chance. I need to be in low gear, do you remember? Rotary. Rev it to the fucking moon. I'm too far back, I think. Even in the toe. Ah, oh, damn it. It's going to be a P7, I think. Come on. Get out of the corner cleanly. Clean. Clean, Broadbent. Oh, man. That was awesome. No. 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 Okay. Now that was awesome. Sorry, I just did some illegal blocking there to make sure we came seventh, but... That... That belongs in the car. Tell me otherwise. Tell me that that wasn't convincingly... A good engine for this car. I think right at the end of the straight, I'm not sure if it was a tow or not. Maybe it was a slipstream, but we started to lose that a bit there. But otherwise, at the corners, and for the majority of any sort of acceleration zone, that little roachy was holding its own. Amazing. But before I end off the video, oh, I've got to see what it's like in the modern F1 car. So we're going to go do that right now. So now we're talking. We have a rotary engine modern F1 car. Not the same engine we had, though, in the Ferrari just now. This is modernized, so turbocharged and hybrid as well. So basically a modern equivalent of a rotary if it were to go in an F1 car, and I can't wait to see how it goes. So uh, let's go make some loud noises. No, no, no. Okay, that sounds a bit different to what I'm used to. <laughs> it basically just sounds like a PS1 version of a V10 engine, if that makes sense. It sounds ludicrous, but the performance is there. It's not slow, is it? And again, we actually make a bit more torque than these engines make in a modern F1 car. The difference being, of course, that by now, probably the entire entirety of the rotating assembly would have been fired out of the back of the exhaust. And we would have consumed the oil fields in the Middle East by this point of the course. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it, it has its pros and cons, but the noise is somewhat interesting. A rotary engine turned up to lots of revs. Doesn't actually sound great. It just sort of sounds like when someone gets stuck in a vacuum cleaner. It's still far, so. I know there are like a million, trillion, bobillion reasons why a rotary engine couldn't be an F1, but I just miss the f I just miss the fact in Formula One that there used to be different engines doing different things, achieving the same goal but doing it different ways. Now it's just like here's your path, go down it. Could you imagine just how much more interesting the engineering side would be if every engine weren't the same? But um, that's pretty much it. This little bit in the F1 car at the end was going to be a bit of a bonus to the, uh, the race itself. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what it could be like if we had rotary engines in F1. If you enjoyed the video, I'd very much appreciate just tapping that like button. You can subscribe as well if you want. And if you're interested in seeing any more mad engine swaps for F1 cars, then please feel free to just pop a link in the description. Pop a link. Pop a comment down below. And uh, let me know what you want to see. Because I'm open to doing most things. If it's mad and stupid, you know I'm behind it. So, uh... As always, I've got to say a massive thank you to my patrons and to the channel members for supporting this channel and keeping, uh, keeping me in business, keeping me doing super stuff like this. It is much appreciated. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you all next time.
pa 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 pa